Hey guys, this is Mochivi Maxon again, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to install Windows 10 step by step. Now, we are, I'm gonna be making a bootable, a USB bootable pen drive for Windows 10, and I always use Rufus because it always does exactly what I want. It makes bootable for Ubuntu, Windows, Windows XP, Windows 8, Windows 7, and even Windows 10. So it's the best tool out there for making bootables, at least that I'm sure. So the download link is down in the description. Simply lo after download, simply launch it. You can see I'm gonna plug in my pen drive. It will detect it automatically, as you can see. But I already made a bootable. Already made a bootable pen drive. As you can see, I already made it boot a bootable Windows 10 pen drive using this Rufus. But you, all what you have to do is just simply click here and browse to where your Windows 10 disk image is, and just press start. It will show you when it's done, and that's it about creating a bootable pen drive. Now, let's go to the to the installation step now I'm just gonna simply restart my system and show you how to install Windows 10 step by step and I even have this app I built it's called Mockify it turns your laptop into a wireless hotspot wait a minute let me just show you a quick preview here all you have to do is just simply type in your wireless network the password you want to use you can show it or hide it and just press connect and it should create your network you should watch the video the video tutorial about this app the link is down in the description and you simply here you click here to check out the, its website and see if it has any updates here it's social networks and all that it's available for free download at mockify.petos.tk just simply click download and then it needs the .NET framework 4.0 to 4.5 any of the two works just click offline installer to download the offline installer 4.0 to 4.5 here are the instructions of using it ok guys let me not bore you with this so let's get to it And now that I'm back guys, I've restarted my system. I'm gonna be booting from my pen drive I created. So I'm just gonna press F12 here to get into my boot menu. I'm gonna be doing a lot of pausing in this video. Everywhere my window loads, I'm just going to for fast forward it. Save time, so I'm gonna choose my USB. Press enter, press any key, I'm just gonna press any key. And it should start my windows as you can see but my camera can't focus very well but it's loading my windows right now I'm gonna pause through here so now that it is done loading from here I'm just going to follow the instructions language I'm gonna go with US I'm going to go with English United States Current format, I'm going to leave it there Keyboard input I should change it to British Because my keyboard is British yeah, It sounds funny But it's right I'm just gonna leave it to you guys for now. But you wanna get done with this, just click next. I'm just gonna click install now. <laughs> Setup is starting. So I think I'm even gonna post through this. Uh, I'm gonna post through here. Okay, let me just now pause. 
us just sit here and wait for it to get done yeah yes then i'm just gonna click agree accept here just click next now here i'm, I'm gonna choose custom install advanced as it brings up my drive i'm gonna be installing on this one so now i'm just gonna simply click next to install now i'm gonna post through here because this is going to take around i guess four to five minutes okay once it's done loading up all the steps of loading up of loading are like windows 8 so if you have w installed windows 8 this shouldn't be a problem i'm ju just gonna skip this not gonna use any internet skip step wait for it I'm just gonna use Express settings username just put in few maxim for now password let me just leave it empty just click finish finalizing your settings so if you like want to install Windows, if you like want to install Windows 10 in a virtual box, I already created that video tutorial. You can click on the link down below. That will take you to that tutorial. Now just waiting for it to finalize. Now I'm gonna post through here again. Now when it's now when it's done all loading up, it should bring your desktop. I currently don't have any video drivers. That's why the resolutions aren't so good. So thanks guys for watching. You can leave a comment down below if you had any difficulties. Subscribe, like the video. And I'll see you guys in the next video.